Hi friends, welcome to this week's episode of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Cindy from Jill Olson's team and today we have a special project for you. We are going to make a bouquet of flowers and bring a little bit of sunshine into our homes. In the new 2017-2018 annual catalog, there's the delightful daisy suite that I am just head over heels about. So that's what we're going to work with today. This is what the project looks like. There's a few supplies that we'll need that are not Stampin' Up! First of all, we'll need to get, just from your local craft store, some um, 18 gauge floral stem, super easy wire to find. You'll need a pair of needle nose pliers, a hot glue gun, and some clear decorative filler rocks to go in the bottom of your mason jar. You'll also need a mason jar. Now, we're going to start with our mason jar. What you do is you take your mason jar and you fill the jar with your clear decorative fillers. And then you'll take a piece of designer series paper. I use the delightful daisy paper. A piece about four inches by about 10 inches. So it would look like this. And all I've done is just wrap it in a circle, put a piece of tear and tape up one side and adhere it into the jar. Super easy. Now let's start on our project. What we're going to do is we have um, three colors of cardstock. We have our whisper white, old olive, and our daffodil delight. We have three stamp pads, crushed curry, our daffodil delight, and our old olive. So let's start stamping. We're going to take our daffodil. We're going to do our daffodil delight ink on our whisper white cardstock. Your cardstock has to be at least four inches wide so that you can fit your flower on there and you can also put it through your punch. And a little tip, when you put your daisy onto your clear block, make sure that your petals go straight up and down. That way it lines up with your punch, so it's super easy when you go to punch it out. This stamp comes from the Daisy Delight stamp set. So we'll ink that up. We're going to come down. We're going to stamp. We're going to do it two times. We're going to take our one inch circle punch. We're just going to punch out a circle. Set that aside. We just need one. Set that aside and then we're going to take our daisy punch. We're going to turn it over so when we put our punch over our paper, it's super easy to line up and just punch that out. Punch out two. Um, the next thing we're going to do is take our bone folder and we're going to give these flowers a little bit of life. So just lightly curl them up each petal. I love this stamp set. It just is so sunny and daisies are perfect to make, make you happy. The sign of friendship. Okay, so we've got a little life into those and we're going to set those aside for just a moment. We're going to take our one inch circle punch and a pair of snips. And we're just going to eyeball and we're just going to snip into the center, just a straight line straight into the center of our circle. We'll set that aside. And we'll take our old olive, our old olive ink pad. We're going to take our leaf. We're going to ink up old olive, put it right onto the old olive paper cardstock. Do two of those. Super easy. And we're going to take our snips and we're just going to cut straight around them, fussy cut them out. It doesn't have to be even, it doesn't have to be close. Just give it that general shape. This goes really fast when you're doing enough for your flowers because you don't have to get straight on those lines. This is an awesome project to get your friends together. Each of you bring a mason jar, sit around and talk. It's pretty mindless, um, so it's a perfect gathering. It's a perfect girls' night project. So you can see I didn't go super close. Just kind of gave it the nice outline. Okay, and we'll set that aside. Now we're going to take our Daffodil Delight paper and you'll do the same thing as you did with your other daisy. But this time we're going to stamp it in crushed curry to give it a little bit more def definition of our flower. Again, making sure that your petals are straight up and down and you stamp towards the edge of your paper. You get a nice clear image. Do that twice. And again, we're going to take our daisy punch and we'll punch these out. Okay, and now we've got our two flowers out of Daffodil Delight. We're going to give them a little bit of life. 
curl those edges up a little. Not too much, just enough to give them a little curl. And then we're gonna take our leaves, we're gonna use the bone folder and we're gonna curl them so that they kind of have a down curl instead of an up curl. You think about leaves, they kind of go down. So we wanna make this be a little bit of life, super easy. And we're gonna do a one inch circle out of here. And again, just eyeball your cut into the center. Now, we are going to take our stem wire. Again, it's 18 gauge, and I really liked this because it looked just like a stem of a, of a daisy. It looks really natural. I just got it at my local craft store, super cheap. I think it was $2.99 for 12 pieces. So we'll take out two of those. We'll just take our um, needle nose pliers just clip it right onto the end and I'm just going to wrap it around in a circle like two times. Okay, and we'll pull it out. And once we have our circle like this, I'm just going to take those pliers and bend it over. So you have a little L shape. We'll do that on the next one. Bend it over so you have a little bit of an L shape. Now it's time for our hot glue. You can use any adhesive. I just chose to use hot glue putting these flowers together because that's what I had sitting right next to me. So if you wanna use your green glue or your snail, it's up to you, it's just a personal preference. I'm gonna use my silicone mat. I love silicone mats, they are absolute must purchase. They're perfect for projects as well as stamping. So just a little dab of glue, then we're gonna stagger our petals and glue that down. So it gives you a little bit of flower. We're gonna do that with our Daffodil Delight paper. A Little bit of hot glue, stagger our petals. Easy, you can kinda of see how it's starting to come to life. Now we're gonna take our stem, and pull that out just a little bit so you can take your circle. We're gonna put that circle of the stem right into the center where we've trimmed. So you can kind of see what it looks like, just like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. We are just gonna make this pretty. That's what it's for, is to make your flower bottom look pretty. So we're gonna take a little bit of hot glue. We're gonna go th about three-fourths of the way around our circle. We're gonna leave a little bit of space. And I'll tell you why. Go around. I'm gonna take our flower. Our Daffodil Delight goes with our Daffodil Circle. And just kind of glue it on there. Turn it upside down. Press that circle together so you can kind of make a cone. The base of the circle all the way up towards your wire. That makes it look really simple and really nice on the bottom. Now, we didn't glue all the way around. I'll tell you why. We're gonna take our leaf, the bottom of one of our leaves. We're gonna put a little bit of glue. Again, use whatever glue you want. My hot glue is just handy. We're gonna stick it into that piece where we didn't glue. And then while that glue is still hot, we'll squeeze it in up there. You can do as many leaves on your flowers as you want to, and they're super easy to glue right onto your stems. Now this wire is amazing, because now you can take your flower and you can adjust it however you want to. We're gonna go ahead and do that with our Whisper White flower also. Okay, I think I'm gonna put the leaf onto the stem so you can see what that looks like, how easy that is. A Little bit of glue, and I'm just gonna line it up with my wire, just hold it there for my glue to dry. And the idea of this also came, if you look in your catalog, the idea is also next to this suite. Okay, we're gonna adjust our flower, make it look like a good daisy. And then we're gonna take our clear faceted gems. These are the clear, and then for the Daffodil Delight flower, we use the gold faceted gems. Look at that sparkle. They just add so much to this project. So we're gonna take the bigger one. It's got a little dot on the back side of, it of adhesive, so it's super simple to just place right in the center of our flower. Now all you have to do is add that to your mason jar, put in some baby's breath. We used five stems of silk baby's breath that we also purchased just at the craft store. Separated it out a little bit and that's how we added sunshine to our homes for this summertime. We used the Daffodil Delight double stitched one quarter inch ribbon, wrapped it around twice, ad adhered it with a little bit of tear and tape so it's not going anywhere and made this cute little tag also inspired by the 
annual catalog. Now this project is amazing and like I said it is perfect for a girls night out to sit around with your friends, chit chat, do something amazing while you catch up and to add beauty into your home and into your office. Super simple and you don't have to water them. What can I say? I hope that you have a great summer. Thanks for stamping. See you next week.